Hello, and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will be working on finding the slope of a line that passes through two points. In order to do that, we have to write down the equation for finding the slope, which is the change in y, which is y2 minus y1, over the change in x, which is x2 minus x1. We also want to find if the line is increasing, decreasing, horizontal, or vertical. If the slope is positive, then we know the line is increasing. If it is negative, we know it's decreasing. If the slope is zero, then the line is horizontal. And if it is undefined, and if it is undefined, then the line is vertical. Our first pair of points is negative two, four, and one, one. When approaching these problems, it is best to start by writing points one and two out and labeling their X and Y. After labeling the x and y, you also want to label them according to the point so that we know which is x2 and which is x1. Now that we have all the parts of our points labeled, we can plug them into our slope equation. After evaluating the equation, we see that it comes to negative 3 over 3, which is equal to negative 1. Because the slope is negative, that means that the line is decreasing. Our next set of points is negative 1, 4, and 3, negative 1. So again, we'll start by writing out our points and labeling our x's and y's. Then we can plug it into our slope equation. After simplifying, we see that we're left with negative 5 over 4, which of course is negative. And so again, the line is decreasing.
This next problem can be a tad bit confusing, but you approach it exactly the same by writing down both of the points and labeling their x and y. And by evaluating, we see that the numerator is zero. However, that means that the entire equation is equal to zero, which means that it is a horizontal line and there's no change in y. So the next problem is difficult in the same way that the last problem was. Um, you're gonna write down your points as you normally would, one four and one zero, label your x and y, and then from there, plug in each variable into the slope equation and evaluate. From here, we see that it comes to negative four over zero. And of course you can't divide by zero, which means that it, the slope is undefined and it is a vertical line.